Hi there. Today I'm going to show you how to convert a Logitech G mouse into a um, QI wireless charging mouse. So what you see here it, um, is a, a wireless charging mouse mat. So th this is a uh, Corsair mouse mat with a uh, with a wireless hotspot. So this green indicator over here, well it's not green at the moment, but this indicator over here indicates um, when there's a device charging. So here you go, this is a standard mouse uh, with the uh, standard puck at the bottom. So if I put this on here, as expected, nothing happens. So if we open, if we open this up, now these two magnets here, um, what you might not know is uh, these are actually contacts for, uh, for, for wireless charging. There is another um, video uh, floating around YouTube which involves opening this whole thing up, um, but that's entirely not necessary. You, you can actually um, convert this into a QI charging mouse, um, you know, without touching any screws. So what you need for this is a uh, QI charging receiver and a couple of magnets. So here's actually one I've already assembled. So uh, at the moment it's a kind of a proof of concept. Now the thing to note here is uh, the uh, this over here is the uh, positive terminal and this is a negative. So you've got red wire going here and uh, it's like green, but I think it's black. So black goes to this terminal. So this is a cheap module. Uh, it's around about two pounds picked up from AliExpress. So if I just uh, place this carefully over here, you, you'll see in a few moments, this light should start blinking green. There you go. And that's actually now taken up charge. So as long as these contacts are good, uh, the, the mouse itself will actually charge. So uh, how do you convert this into a, uh, into a puck? So that, that will require a little bit of uh, skill and um, I'll explain why I'm not going to actually show you, <laughs> show you exactly how to do this because there's actually an easier solution. But let's say that easy solution doesn't, doesn't exist. The idea would be to tuck this behind here, tuck in these uh, stray wires. As you can see, this just about fits into this space. So ideally you would actually use uh, smaller magnets here. Uh, sorry, these magnets are slightly too big for purpose, but they, they will work. Um, these you can get from Amazon, they usually come in packs of 20. So they're, they're rare earth magnets and they and these are great because actually they uh, that they give you uh, quite good electrical contact. They're quite solid uh, connecting. So if you did want to convert this into a puck, uh, what you would, what you need is you'll need to take the original uh, Logitech G puck, which contains weights in the bottom. Um, you need some. Uh, you need a container, plaster of Paris. If you mix up plaster of Paris, you can uh, basically make a mould out of this. So once that's done, uh, the other thing you'll need is uh, you need to take your two magnets here, um, and from that from that plaster of Paris mold, you uh, you'll also need to get some uh, resin. Again, you can get these things quite readily from from Amazon. And once you've got that, uh, it's just a matter of uh, placing this at, towards the bottom of the uh, your plaster of Paris mold, uh, pouring the resin. And then uh, before it sets, just ensure that the magnets are in place and that these wires are actually making good electrical contact. Let's put, put an idea to sold, uh, solder these on. Now, now the re reason I haven't actually gone ahead and uh, built this whole thing is because shortly after I bought this, I found a uh, I found another pack on uh, on AliExpress. So there you go, that, um, if you notice it's got a different symbol there. And that actually does the job for you. So just show that working. So if I 
plug that into there. Now if I hold this over here, and there you go, very quickly we see it's taken up charge. And this, um, I'll, I'll post links on where to get, uh, you know, if, if you want to go either either way, whether you want to make one yourself or, or if you want to get the pre-built one, which costs around about £20 delivered, um, I'll, I'll post links on where to get those. Uh, and just a quick note on this, this does take quite a long time to charge, so I think three or four hours um, before it charges the uh, mini school battery in this particular mouse. So, and there you have it.